Now, almost 1 in 11 people start college but never finish. Those stats are even worse for community colleges. So tonight, WCPO 9 News reporter Keith Berry Golick tells us about a new program at Cincinnati State. Something officials there say might just be a local solution to a national problem. In my message, I also include emojis, which mm -hmm. makes, I like it. It starts uh, with a text message. Which emoji did you include? Uh, like, <laughs> Smiley face? Yeah, smiley face. <laughs> and it ends with something that could be life-changing. Now I have two. Yay. This is C-State Complete, a new program at Cincinnati State that uses students to reach out to former students who didn't graduate. I like to see students coming back because I really value education so much. On Wednesday, I watched Nazina Eskobilova send a flurry of messages to students only a few credit hours away from graduation. Within a minute, some responded. How does that make you feel? Good, but uh, its mission has not been completed yet. That mission is to connect students with resources they need to finish, resources they often don't know about. I just scheduled one, by the way. <laughs> and it's all possible because of a new grant, which lets college officials forgive up to $1,000 of student debt. We don't want a few hundred dollars to be the reason they don't graduate. Right, so the school is putting Does a lot happen? of effort. Oh, it has happened. It's not happening right now because of CC Complete. We are really mitigating those kind of issues at an alarming rate. Don Pollock runs this team of students who say the work has opened their eyes. You think like your story is like the craziest, like you have the most like difficult situation, but like when you talk to other people and sometimes you're like, wow, like people are really going through like bad things. The program started in June and officials tell us it's working. Five students are graduating this semester as a result. I just get to swoop in, be the hero, right? And then watch somebody go back to class, right? And then I'll cry when they graduate. <laughs> it's the best job I've ever had, my friend. Officials tell us they hope to expand this program and track what they learn to find more ways to keep students at college in the first place. In Clifton, Keith Berigolik, WCPO, 9 News.